Hey guys, Matt and Wendy DeWitt from MWD Adventures. We got a little trip going on today. We are super excited to head down to the Hiker Factory. We got a little surprise for you. Stay tuned. Are you last, still stressed? <laughs> last night was quite an adventure. Um, yeah. Yeah, the tornado was what, 15 miles north of us? Yep, mm -hmm. tornado 15 miles north and like two of them south. Something so, crazy like yeah. that, yes. Yep. So, what, it is, what is it about us and tornadoes? I don't know. <laughs> so we're at the hotel right now, guys, and we are heading to Hiker mm -hmm. Columbus to pick up our new rental. Yep. We're super excited. Thanks for coming along. All right, today we are at Hiker Trailer um, Factory in Indiana. Jordan is gonna show us around our new rental trailer. So as you may remember, we sold our rental trailer last fall and we are here to pick up our new one. So Excellent. what did we order on this one? So on this one, we have up front, front spare tire, um, just in case you have any accidents off road, easily accessible, easy exactly. to get off. Yep. Um, versus that undermount tire. Here we've got a 47 inch large toolbox. So that way you got plenty of storage space, no battery or anything inside, mm -hmm. completely open. So that way you can take all your dirty gear, put it in here and not worry about it. That'll be much nicer. Yes. Yeah. Um, connection wise, depending on what vehicle you have, you do have your seven way pin adapter here. Um, that's universal for most newer vehicles. So no issues. If you do, you can buy an adapter. Yep. It's easy to put on. Um, front AC prep, you know, we are still working on solutions and with partners on trying to get some type of uh, outdoor AC unit for yep. these, but for now, still great for uh, airflow. And we'll definitely, for us, we're going to add our little 90 degrees in our little attachment that our son makes to help with the airflow piece of it. Okay, perfect. Um, up top, you guys have a 100 watts uh, flexible solar panel, mm -hmm. um, so that way you can help try to keep your portable power stations or onboard batteries charged, depending on what you're using. Yep. Uh, max fan up top, which is you know pretty universal. It's a must. Okay. I feel like you got to have the max fan. Right. That way, especially being a rental, if people leave it open, we don't want to have to worry about water damage inside the trailer. Right. Um, <laughs> two doors. That's a must. Has to has to happen. It just yes. makes it feel more comfortable. Um, some outdoor lighting with the basic lights. Mm -hmm. um, you know, fairly open cabin. I believe you guys got the nine foot model. Correct. Uh, so, okay, what is this okay. light switch for if there's a switch on that one outside? So this here will actually be what turns on the 12-volt uh, power plug here. Oh, okay. um, so it will access this and then the two USB ports here. Okay, yeah. And then you'll have a little voltmeter screen up here. But the nice thing is with your power station you have, you can download an app to control that from there. You can see the screen on the power station, which we'll get to. Yep. Um, but that's kind of just what that is. It powers this block. It powers that, okay. Because for people that have a light switch out there that's not controlled right on the light, you have the control for the lights usually right here. Correct. Yeah, if they have the outdoor uh, exterior lights with internal switches, the switches are normally up front. Yeah. Okay. Um, so as you were kind of talking about, outdoor light, switch right on the bottom. That's nice mm -hmm. and bright. Um, little five-pound propane for cooking. Back galley, 24-inch uh, deep galley. Mm -hmm. you, Close it off at the bottom, left it open at the top. Um, I know you guys do some bug screens normally for yes. some pass-throughs and stuff like that, so that'd be nice uh, addition there. General wiring now, uh, we've kind of moved a lot to the portable power banks uh, with like Goal Zero, um, mm -hmm. which is what we primarily use, but you know, Jack Jackery, Blue Eddy, all those good ones out there. Um, you've got all the plugs for those, the uh, Anderson plugs, and then we've also left battery leads in here for if you want to use an onboard battery at a later date. There'll be more to come on how this all is set up. Wait for an upcoming video on that. Not too many extras in the back. The biggest difference is the fact that we're doing the portable power versus the AGM or a lithium battery in this one. Correct. It, it'd be nice. The 
power banks, they give you a lot of versatility, you know. Mm -hmm. Had a nice little storm here last night, so you know, yes, if you might have did. lost power at home and you wanted to charge a phone or power something up, you could have went and grabbed that out of your trailer and exactly. brought it inside. Yep, so. definitely an advantage of using the portable ones. So outside of the galley, you guys have went with the three bar roof rack up top. This is the typical setup that we use for people that normally get like a rooftop tent. Mm -hmm. um, I know with you guys, you are putting the shower room up here, or plan on adding one. So the middle bar here is what gives you the ability to just bolt it on top. Um, but this supports, you know, 600 pounds of weight. So if you guys wanted to add things in the future, you're now pretty set up for some heavy duty stuff up top. Nice, because the distance between this one and that one was too far to set up our shower room with. Right, yeah, that's the issue we run into a lot. Mm -hmm. The shower rooms are, you know, only like 40 inches, 48 inches. Right. Um, so with our standard setup, and we've even, you know, moved this in in recent history to help accommodate the back of the 270 awnings, making sure it covers your galleys. So even with closing the distance, we still had to add this yeah. just for the shower rooms, which is, you know, it's not a big deal. It's a nice thing, a lot more weight, storage racks, bike right. racks up exactly. top, lots yeah. of things that can go up there. Yeah, it'll be nice. This is definitely, we've done two in the past. This is the first time we are doing three, but it definitely gives us more options. All right, and then this power here. Yep, so this will be to power the power strip still. And mm -hmm. then you can also use this to charge your portable power station. Um, and you know whatever else you need when you're at campgrounds with plugins. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you. We're excited to uh, get this one out and visible for people to use. And so this is just a quick overview of the new rental that we'll have. We'll definitely be adding our own little specialties to it, and then we'll do a full walk around. Um, and we will have it available on Outdoorsy and RV Share. Contact MWD Adventures, and we can get you set up to go camping yourself.